Hello, this is Dan Pro, and we're at part three of our um, tentacle rig here. And uh, getting close, there's only a few things left to do. Um, now that we've got our intermediate chains and our tweak um, tweak controls and things like that are all working out, uh, and all of our constraints are set up with them, let me just select one of these. We've got our long laundry list of FK, IK, and then copy rotation, transformation, copy scale, and stretch do. Um, that's all working. Uh, now we only have one final um, set of constraints to add, and that is to add um, constraints to our deformation bones, which are all parented in a line here and are using B bones and they're segmented. We need to have them copy the transformations of our intermediate chain here. So let's just get rid of some of these things. So. Uh, just our intermediate um, bones and our deformation bones are visible. So if we copy, let's select uh, the first bone in the chain for our intermediate. We know that they are stretching and doing all those uh, things behind the scene. We just need to copy the transforms um, to that bone. Actually, let's start at the last part of uh, this chain here. Uh, so what's going to happen if we do this one is that whole chain is going to jump up there. Let's uh, control Z, undo that. Let's start at the back of the chain. And because these are all um, parented in a line, and you can see that the location values are all grayed out for these tips, it won't allow it to uh, jump up there. So just to help uh, be a little bit better visually here to help us, uh, so we're not trying to work on top of these chains here. Anyways, let me just do it so you can see what I mean. Select this end one. Oops, select the end one and um, do a copy transformation or copy transforms rather. Just single, uh, basically, what a copy transforms uh, constraint does is copies the location, rotation, and the scale. So it's basically an all in one. Let's just uh, continue down the line here. Copy transforms. And once we get to this last one, that whole chain is going to jump up. Uh, all the way to the top there. All right, I think that is the last of the constraints. I want to turn on. Let's turn on all of our bone layers here, and also we redo our uh, shapes. And I'm going to tab into um, um, edit mode. And now we need to place all these chains back on top of each other, so they're not uh, out in space like this. I'm going to select all these. FK bones. I'm just going to do Alt H, make sure that I don't have anything hidden. And then G, Z, and holding control. I'm going to snap them right on top of our deformation bones. Deselect. Select this, uh, our IK bones. G, Z, and holding control. I'll snap them on top. And one more time here. Box select. Make sure I don't accidentally grab this one up here. G, Z. Now our, all of our bones are uh, sitting where they should be in edit mode, and everything should actually work. Um, so let's uh, test our FK chain here. Grab an FK controller and start rotating it, and then we've got our tentacle control. And that works. FK bones work. Let's sl switch to IK, and we have that IK controller here. Now it's, uh, you can see our FK chain is staying put. Everything's working with our IK. And did we add custom controllers shapes to our tweak bones? We did not. So we should actually go back and select our um, tweak bones here. Uh, first, let's clear all the rig controls out here just so everything is in rest mode. And we can add our uh, custom shape to that. Make sure we're at wireframe. WGT, where's our tentacle? Uh, this would be our tweak control. I'm going to copy that name. We'll paste it across. Make sure wireframe is enabled here. I think this is the last of the cleanup for this. Let's uh, double check or make sure our transfer. Our locks are all done for so our animators can't mess things up and these should all be 
we copied all those uh, across earlier. So we, for location, only Y rotation and only X and Z scale. Uh, we don't actually have to mess with any of these um, MCH tweak parent modes. So let's lock these. And then I believe that was the one I had selected. Yep. Copy all these. Copy the protected transforms across. Control C. Uh, copy protected transform. Now they're all locked. And which is this bone here is our intermediate bones. We also don't, our animator never has to touch any of these. Let's just select them all. Select that, make it active. Control C. Copy protected transforms. And I believe we did this as we went uh, for all of these. Alright, those are all locked. Yeah, scale is done for our actual control. Our FK bones have the have the um, correct locks on them. And what is this one? This is oh, this is our body bone and root bone. One other thing we need to do is make sure that our bones, the bones that are, are supposed to be deforming the rig, are the only ones in the rig that are def actually deforming our mesh. So this. We had our deformation bones right here. Select them. And I'm just going to go through and make sure that this is done. Uh, I think it's, it was already set up, but I'm going to check uh, Shift W and then get our toggle bone options here. Deform. Let's make sure that they are enabled for that chain. And everything else here that we've created, we can turn all those on. A to select them all. Shift W. Toggle deform to disable and we should be set I think uh, that is the final um, piece of the puzzle for uh, this rig um, and I know I'd, I probably could have took <coughs> done this in that last section there but I was reaching 40 minutes but there are a few other things I want to talk about and that is uh, how to get this leg uh, we went through all this work to get the single tentacle uh, working correctly with all these nice stretchy controls and you can twist the, the inner leg and, and all that. Let me actually go to B bone display. Clear all my rig controls. Um, oh, there's one other thing we need to do. We need to uh, separate our controls into their own layers. So let me go back to octahedral. Alright, um, on this We'll just go down the line here. Uh, these are root and body, and then we can. Uh, this is actually our FK chain, and I think this was this bone layer management tool that I was working. I was working on the other uh, rig that I had in this um, file before. So let's just change this to FK control, and uh, in this. With our FK bones, we've got these two MCH bones. Let's move them directly below. So we only have uh, our FK controls here. This will be our body controls. Then our FK controls. All of our MCH and deformation bones are going to be on a different layer. Alright, let's turn on the next layer. And this is our IK bones. And um, the only bone that we actually need as a control for our IK set is this end one here. Um, so I'm just going to hide that and then control A to select everything else and then move that directly below. There are all uh, MCH bones. Let's call this IK control. And let's select this one here and MCH. This is FK. And this is this layer here. MCH IK. Where's our deformation? That is the same. Alright, so that is our do Alt H to unhide my control there. And then we have our intermediate. The MCH8. And let's actually take all these and move them down here. Where'd they go? Right. 
move them to this layer. And these are MCH tweak bones. Select them all, and we can move them down uh, underneath here. And just so we get all of our controls on this top layer here, this should be our controls at the last bit here. Uh, fourth one over, right there. Oh, let's, uh, these are the tweaks. Did we name these right? These are our int MCH. And this one is our MCH tweak. Alright, now everything is <clears throat> properly put in uh, more reasonable uh, bone layers here. So we can just toggle on uh, our control layers here one at a time. If we want to use just our FK controls, or if we want to use our IK controls, we can go back to FK. Alright. Um, one thing I want to talk about is uh, we went through, uh, there's quite a few bones in here and quite a few constraints that we had to set up, um, but a single tentacle probably isn't going to be uh, useful for us, so we're going to have to uh, repeat this process probably for six to eight other legs, so if we wanted to have uh, this control set up like this, and that can be kind of a pain, I want to show you uh, um, how we can duplicate that across um, to new legs without actually creating or with uh, saving as much work as we possibly can so I'm gonna have all these bones selected except for uh, the root and body bone select them all and do shift D oops I need to go in control or be in uh, edit mode and make sure alt H make sure there's nothing that's not selected here so let's do Shift D, and then G Y, and let's just drag these back. And let's, uh, if we were setting up four different legs here, to actually turn, add our let's go 3D cursor Shift S, cursor to center. I'm gonna actually. Uh, undo that and then just do RZ and we'll rotate that those duplicates up a little bit and G Y say our leg was canted off uh, next leg in our um, body was canted off a little bit like this a few things we need to straighten out here um, all of our tweak bones are now canted and also our uh, our control our IK controls and there's a few things we need to straighten out here you can see that this actually this should actually work or how most of this rig actually works um, just by duplicating it across but there are a few things we need to clean up um, the first thing is is this we'll just turn on our IK where's our IK control there we go uh, when we duplicated that across we basically we've made a new it made a new custom property for us but this um, data path is actually going to be different so to turn this leg off between IK and FK we need to copy that so let's just copy that data path, and then we need to um, change. Let me give it our intermediate bone here. Just select this first one in in the list. We need to go to our constraints, and we need to change. Uh, you can see that the driver uh, wasn't copied across. We can actually use this one. Let's just copy, uh, copy the driver, and then we can go back to this one and paste it go to our driver setup here and we need to change the path and the variable um, to that new um, custom property for the end of that bone so we'll just control V to paste it and you probably didn't see anything happen but we've got control IK02 um, that's the one that we had copied earlier get this back we can go back to our uh, default settings here so we need to go in and copy that driver now that it's going to be working and paste this across to our IK influence paste driver and 
Now, you might think that this is kind of a pain in the butt to have to do this, but if you uh, remember all the work we had to do with making um, four different chains, this is actually a pretty small price to pay to, to get a whole new working leg here. So, all right, there we go. And you see all these uh, bones. Uh, this last one was intermediate 06. It, when we duplicated them, it just start, started uh, adding that, uh, sequentially adding our uh, renaming all of those all the way down and all the constraints were updated uh, to work so we don't have to change any of that to the correct bones we just need to change that uh, single uh, driver there and copy that around and let's see what's the next one our tweak our intermediate tweaks I think we have to copy that to um, that IK constraint as well paste driver so basically, um, just fix that one driver and paste it into all these other uh, instances of that. And that's going to make our IK and FK switch um, work again. And we don't have to do that for any other ones. We just had to do that IK uh, influence um, driver. Turn back on our IK controls and they're right there let me just turn on deformation just so I can see it make sure that this is on IK and you can see that now that leg works with that and if I switch it off it'll go back to the FK um, turn all these on here just to make sure everything is cleared out and get rid of these again um, one more thing we're starting to rotate all these things around uh, there's a few things we need to do to let's see I need the tweak our tweaks open and we also need our IK uh, control and our IK MCH layers here so I want to show you let me turn off um, shapes uh, temporarily here because then I rotated this around um, I was actually pretty careful we're setting up these main bones here so they're aligned with the world and we're ne going to need to do this um, to this chain as well as we want all of these uh, bones that are pointing this direction to uh, be straight with the world again and we can do this like this I'm going to change my pivot point to individual origins and with all those bones selected I'm going to do uh, scale x 0 and now they are all aligned and uh, pretty important to do that as we uh, rotate these new bone chains around and that is pretty much it once we align those with the world everything else should be should be good and they should all work let's get our shapes back here turn on all off the, all of these extra bones go to B bone alright and now we've got two working legs uh, and you can see that that was a lot less uh, a lot less pain than having to go through the whole process of uh, uh, repeating all that over again everything works in here Just still got our tweak controls IK controls switch it to FK I can grab a control here I know this is kind of messy because I've got everything on but uh, that is uh, the final part to this advanced tentacle rig so I hope you get this to work for yourself um, I hope I did a good job explaining it and I apologize if I didn't any questions you can probably just ask me at blenderartist.org um, good luck with your projects and uh, I'll see you next time.